I'm really, really impressed with this. Non-stop NECA this year with Ninja Turtles like this. We've got so much stuff from the last Ronin alone that's coming, I, I guess, all this year? I don't know, probably over the next year and a half. And I think that maybe even you and I both want this channel to be more than Ninja Turtles, but NECA is just a brand that is affordable. They make great stuff and I like it. So I'm gonna hear, I'm gonna, so I'm gonna, so I'm gonna review it, okay? So today we look at the last Ronin Sinja Patrol Bot, which stands for Synthetic Ninja. And you would know that if you read the comic. <laughs> And if you don't know that, that's okay. If you haven't read the comic, that's also okay. But you can start today by ordering on Amazon. Um, I'll put a link in the description so you can get it. And it might even still be on sale like when I bought it. But look at Ben Bishop is just crushing it with artwork on the front of these boxes. That's blurry. Is it supposed to bleep? It's supposed to bleep bleep blurry? <laughs> oh God. Ben Bishop. Very talented. So let's just get into this thing. I am super excited because I know I did that really incredible in-depth review right before I did GalaxyCon last week, this past weekend, which was a blast, by the way. GalaxyCon Raleigh, they really need to get their crap together and help the artist alley. However, I still had fun, okay? I got to hang out with some good friends of old and make new friends with the surrounding booths. But you're not here to talk about GalaxyCon, you're here to talk about nothing because you have to listen to me, unfortunately. However, you can leave a comment down below and I'll get to it in the future of when I'm doing the future me will reply to your comment. I always do, I don't know why. Because I care, that's why. <laughs> Anywho, we've got artwork by Ben Bishop, so thank you. But if you don't know, you can look at the bottom of the boxes from NECA and always get incredible information. Where am I looking? Am I looking at myself in the monitor or am I supposed to talk to you in the camera? <laughs> Such an idiot. Bottom of NECA boxes always have information and I am here for it. So these two work together. This, the artist that drew it, and this is the artist that colored it. Thanks to comments from uh, people in my other video. Thanks. And then good old Paul Harding, God, you're gonna see that name all the time. And Paul does a lot of stuff with Marvel too. So if you're not a ninja collector or whatever, and you like box art, you like all that, yeah, follow Paul Harding. I, I do on Twitter. Paul's always posting stuff from Marvel things that he's doing. So more artwork on the side of the box. And as we know, thanks to San Diego Comic-Con, the sides of the boxes are all gonna get like stuck together. So you need to keep your boxes people. And with artwork like this, why wouldn't you want to keep your box? So I am definitely a fan. Back of the box, you're going to get figure shots like we usually do. This is right out of the comics. And then there's a little bit of bio stuff in a cool looking menacing Ronin figure. When I did do a last Ronin review very recently, open the box, another shot of the figure and a real life shot of the figure. I mean, for me, this is this is in real life. For you guys, it's still basically a shot of the figure. That's a double shot, so it's less quality to you. A photo within a photo for you guys, and it's even flatter than it should have been. <laughs> but here we go. Figure, alternate head, swords, weapon, thing, good. Let's get it out of there and take a look. This is an early video in the day, and I'm trying, I'm trying something new. Normally I don't do a video until like afternoon, and I think I can hear in my voice <laughs> why I wait because I'm kind of like I sound tired I think so bottom of the box is open we're gonna slide that out look at that what kind of sleeve is there worth getting out nope throw your boxes because there's no sense in keeping them no I'm just kidding <laughs> it contradicts my last review keep your boxes this thing is all busted up though not my fault okay that is Best Buy's fault because this is a Best Buy exclusive along with Mikey. Ooh, piece of plastic. That's what a cat would eat. Let's get rid of that. So this was a Best Buy exclusive for whatever dumb reason. Like we need more places to have exclusives of this stuff, whatever. They're a lot easier to buy from than Walmart, so I think I'll take it. Now, getting this guy, he came out at the same time for pre-order as Wanderer or Mikey, <laughs> which is from a different TMNT comic line, so they're not related. These are just different comic lines. It doesn't matter, it's okay. But nevertheless, Singer Robot is here, looking real good, looking short, like I said in my 
short. <laughs> it's a YouTube short, that's funny. But I guess based on their size, that that's correct. Plastic noises on camera, always great. So if there's ever been an army builder fig, it's this one because you get three heads, which one is really just to replicate some damage and a, cl a classic scene from the comic. And then this, you get two ways to put his little badge on his chest to say like whatever rank or version of the Sinja patrol bot that he is. So do I need to get at least two of these things? But then I have all, like you're always gonna have extra heads. What do I do? <laughs> uh, maybe I just get one because I don't army build. But then I need to put a sticker on it. I, I don't know. I'm not gonna put the sticker on. Well, should I? <laughs> and I'm, I'm sure that whatever symbol you put depends on which head you put. So then you can't really swap them technically unless you have two, whatever. So this <laughs> is Sinja Patrol Bot. And you've got some accessories, which is great. But yeah, he is smaller than I thought he would be, especially because they are cyborgs or synthetic ninjas. This little thing is like, what, what do we get out of this? It's got a little, it's got very specifically a peg style thing, right? Look at that with the like hexagon or whatever. So what is the deal behind this guy? Is it gonna be like a little baby build a fig or when you buy some other stuff like the white Sinja bots. This is some kind of little mouser head that is in the box and doesn't attach to anything particular. You've gotten, you've got, we've got the damaged head sculpt, which looks really nicely done. Of course, I mean, they're so good at it, but now you get a good look at the fact that this thing is partly human. There's some form of a human still inside these things. I also moved my microphone down there instead of up here. So now I'm wondering if every time I put my hands up, the audio gets bad. We'll find out, <laughs> and I'm sorry if it did. The pistol, which looks like this, because these soldiers don't just use weapons, they fight dirty, this is the future, okay? We're way in the future of the turtle verse. Then we've got some good old fashioned punchy hands, which are just mirror copies of each other, so left and right are the same, and I can't get them in focus because I'm dumb. There we go. In focus, finally, kind of, one of them, there we go, both of them. Punchy hands, they look like punchy hands, okay? Why do I have to show them both at the same time? You got a left and right version of this hand, which is identical in every way. They're just mirror copies of each other, so nothing too special, but you can have a sword or a gun. <laughs> You've got the alternate head, which is in the box, of course, and these do not articulate, but they are soft, bendy things. You don't really have to worry about them snapping off, which is nice. I love the colors. I love the details. This is a very beautiful part of the comic where all the colors started popping, and it has like this uh, Blade Runner style, like the future. You got flying vehicles and stuff, but the colors, lots of purples and stuff. Uh, I love it. Sword looks nice. It's thick, so maybe don't have to worry about it bending and snapping off like movie turtle swords, which are seem to always be a problem. They bend real easy. I'm always afraid, but they never look straight. This one seems like it's gonna be able to hold up a little bit more, but the details, of course, are crisp and nice. And of course, the thing we're all here for, I love these little piping like wire things going on through the shoulders. The details here are just classically fantastic, pulled right out of the comic. It looks so good, the silver, popping off of the thing, popping off. <laughs> we got all kinds of little detail pieces that I don't know what all these are, right? They're just kind of coming right out of the comic. What kind of things do you think he's got in his little satchels? Hmm? Little bolts and things to repair himself. <laughs> the line work is always so nice. And this is why you got to do black outlines. Somebody tell Super 7 that this is why there's the NECA stuff always looks good. It's painted and then they black outline stuff. So it looks like it's pulled right out of the books, the comics, the cartoons, whatever we're talking about. It always just looks fantastic. And I'm here for it, okay? But this is a this is a beautiful figure, okay? I, the colors just really work. And I, I, I am afraid that on camera, this is not gonna be quite as astonishing as it is in person. But let's look at the comic. So in the comic, he comes up out of the sewer and we get this beautiful coloring. Look at this, this is so wonderful and it really helps the, the main characters pop with this background. I love it, but very 
very uh, cyberpunk, whatever, Blade Runner style. But this is kind of the first time we really get to see them. And there's not really a true size comparison in any of the shots that I've seen. But going through the comic, yeah, nothing really ever stood out that you got like a, a, a very clear expectation of his size compared to them. But whatever, it's fine. So here's that alternate head that we saw, right? So let's compare that. Look at that. How, they're so good at this. So there you go. Look at that detail. I mean, of course, when you have a frame like this, it's going to be real easy to replicate. And did does, did my head chip? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man, was it like that earlier and I just missed it? I don't think so. Chipped paint. So if the light hits right here, you can't really see it. But look at that. So now you see the plastic underneath, but that silver is gone. Oh, that's a bummer. But anyway, it looks pulled right out of the comic book. Even the pupil, I am now realizing the pupil on this is not black. It's kind of got this ghostly finish to it, like cataracts or something. But right out of the comics, looks fantastic. Of course, why wouldn't it? This is their whole thing. This is what NECA does. But there you get the alternate heads on different bots, right? They're all chasing him down. It's looking good. You think in a future figure box, we will have this clothes rack? <laughs> I hope so. They're gonna do an accessory set for Ronin, the last Ronin, and then you're gonna get this. How about that? A coat rack. But it looks like there are different types of guns. So there's this one, which we um, don't have in the box. It looks different from the, the what we have here. And I'll have to go back and look at the San Diego Comic-Con booth for NECA to see if they just repainted the Sinja bots or if they are different. Because these, as they kind of claim, are, are, they're calling them foot soldiers at some point in here. But these look different. They have, that kind of looks like a Sinja bot, but then all of these guys have body armor on like that. So that I would look forward to. Just a repaint of the Sinja, not as interested in. This thing looks sweet though with the blades on the arms. Oh man. Yeah, now we're talking baby. That kind of does look like just a repaint, maybe a new head, but those blade arms? And look, he's got roller skate legs or feet, roller blades. So I definitely see more of these coming along if they didn't already have that in the booth with the body armor but dang, man. But there you go, the link for this thing, the complete story is in the description of this video. So go get it, enjoy this thing, see one of the best stories about Ninja Turtles that your adult brain can handle. Not ideal for kids that still like the funness, like the cartoons. But there we go, here we go, there we go, here we are. <laughs> what are we saying? And if anyone is interested, this is like a 2002 bike from the Playmates line. It scales pretty well and his hand fits on it just fine. So if you do want a bike, it's obviously not like the, cart the comic because the comic is just like a normal standard bike. This is obviously very turtle themed, but hey, not a bad idea. Of course, once I get to the posing segment, there's gonna be a lot of size comparisons but I wanna see them a little bit closer. So somebody had said that the turtles are supposed to just like get bigger and bigger as they're like kind of continue mutating the comic or something. I don't know, it doesn't matter if that's true or not. This turtle being bigger than the Sinja bot, I kind of like. One of the reasons why is because if you do army build these things, it kind of makes them feel a little bit more overwhelming. Like there's a lot of them. Of course, if they were big, you'd, you would, I don't, I don't, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm okay with this, that's <laughs> what, what I mean. He's like, a yeah, almost a full head bigger than the Sinja bot. But if you have a bunch of these things on the shelf, it's gonna look really cool. And these guys will take up less space, but he has like no weight to him. So this is like a, a really soft elbow joint, which is very interesting to me. Um, yeah, it, it kind of has like a, it feels kind of rubbery when bending it. I, I don't know how to explain it, to be honest, but this feels like a, like we're in a whole different space of NECA articulation on this thing. It doesn't feel like a NECA product, but you get ab crunch, you got waist articulation, the legs are just like, they can go wherever you need them to, which is great for a ninja type thing because now you can kick and jump and have all kinds of things going on. I just mean these joints are probably next level for NECA because they don't feel like they're ever gonna uh, really break. And they do seem to still have somewhat of a ratchet style thing going on. They're not as obvious and like clicky as a, a standard ratchet joint, but there's very clearly some notches in here, which will kind of help the legs, you know, not get loose over time because they'll just kind of lock in place like a door hinge on your car. <laughs> I'm really, really impressed with this. So this is, 
I hope this is kind of like a new wave of joints and stuff for NECA. But maybe they're just able to get away with it because it's all black in here and there's no paint on it. I don't know. And it's hard to explain. And if you have this figure, let me know down in the comments. Does this feel different to you for articulation? It's it's just, it's like a, a higher end figure in a way, but at a great price. And these things are probably in store now, $34.99. So don't pay scalpers, the idiots, like I just saw a Mercari listing for like $85, you idiot. These are available to get. You don't need to go online to some dumb dumb that's trying to flip them. Get it directly from Best Buy. But is it worth $34.99? Yes, this is becoming one of my favorite items just based on the build and the quality and stuff. But as far as getting back into whatever we're here to talk about, so the <laughs> this goes right into that plug on the back of his body. Sword goes in, he's ready to have a good time fighting uh, turtles. <laughs> uh, gun goes in pretty simply. He's got a finger for um, doing stuff with it, but it's not a super tight grip because it's the wrong hand. <laughs> so use the hand if you want the gun to go in properly, use the right hand. <laughs> that does have a trigger finger, which is always great. So it lines up, it's perfect. There you go. Doesn't quite look like the gun from the comic, but it still looks good and you wouldn't really know or think about it unless you pulled it up side by side like I did. So I'm sorry for ruining it. Uh, alternatively, the gun can go into the holster on his hip, which is great. And I guess some people are missing that in their box, but it is uh, glued on. It's not pegged on. So be careful with that, not to knock it off, but look for it in the box to make sure it's on when you buy yours. Jesus, be careful. If you notice what's on the screen right now, an extra handle? Nope. So when I put this on the back of him and then tried to get this head on, this head took a lot more effort and pressure. And I was like, oh man, I can't wait to get his head because I think the red is really gonna pop and look really cool. Um, and then as I was pushing, my thumb and the head slipped and didn't just pop this off the back of him, but snap the handle off the sword. And I don't know if I can fix this. Uh, so this might be a bit of a ruined posing segment. So I, I don't know. I'll have to probably, I'll try to fix it before posing. Otherwise I'll have to use a sword from something else. Oh my God. Uh, but thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the posing segment. I'll see you next time.